So I just brought my teapot in off the fire and thankfully it has stopped raining <laughs> this evening. Uh, it is uh, relatively cold out here and the temperature is dropping. Here I am in my teepee. It is quite large. I can almost stand up in it. Definitely allow me to have uh, at least two other people in here with me comfortably. Got wood over there, some uh, kindling in that tarp with some other pieces of wood on it uh, to keep it from blowing open. But I just brought my uh, teapot in here. It's a little GSI teapot. I just wanted to talk to you about some of the benefits that I see uh, from having a teapot like this one along on a camping trip or a date. So one of the benefits, the huge benefits of having a teapot like this little GSI teapot along on a day hike or a backpacking trip is that you're able to have a hot water pot that is dedicated for that purpose exclusively. Sometimes it's easy to try and get down your weight of your gear so much that you end up only having one pot and maybe a, a cup or a mug along with you. And that means, of course, and this is something that happens on a day hike or a backpacking trip anyway, that you end up eating in courses. But this is a very lightweight little pot and it is very useful, like today I'm having a fire out here, right? It's very useful to be able to take advantage of that fire, not just for the warmth and the, the joy of having a fire out in the wilderness, right? The cheeriness that it creates in the, in the human heart to have fire on a cold, wet, rainy day. Uh, but I'm able to use that fire to cook and I'm able to use that fire to keep hot water all the time, ready to do things like dishes, wash my hands, do other cleaning tasks that I might want. It also means that if I decide I want another hot beverage, uh, I can instantly have that right away, even if I'm using my other pots and pans to cook on. I don't have to rinse them out or clean them and then get the water boiling all over again. I've already got it going. And so it just maximizes your time and energy and yeah, it adds a little bit of weight, but that's okay. That's not a problem uh, at all. In my personal view, the few ounces uh, that uh, this little GSI teapot uh, weighs is really, uh, really the in terms of the the comfort that I'm able to get from it is is totally worth it. And one of the ways, you know, because you've got this vessel that's empty, right, when you're not using it. Uh, in your pack or your bag. I pack it full of all the hot beverages and different things that I'm going to be drinking or eating on the trip. And so I, I fill it up with that. Sometimes I'll, I'll also put my fire starting kit in it ready to go. So I just grab it, start my fire. You know, if I've got uh, my water bottle already filled up, ready to go, once the fire goes, I can hang it right on it and, and be off. So I really think that there's a huge benefit to having a teapot dedicated on a trip to always having hot water ready to go. And you could do it with a pot, right? Another pot, or you could have a pot that hangs, right? But it's awful nice to have the teapot feature to just be able to pour it, whether you're doing dishes or pouring it into a uh, uh, mountain house freeze-dried food pack just instantaneously. You're not trying to, uh, you're not spilling, you're not getting your hands uh, scalded a little bit by hot water. It's just ready to go just instantaneously to be poured right in for whatever your uh, purpose is. Here I'm actually uh, using my uh, kuksa, which I made uh, about two and a half, three months ago. And it's really nice to be able to drink out of wood. I like making these things. I like doing carving. So I'm packing my gear up here, getting ready to head home. It's been wonderful to spend a little time outside with a campfire, even though it was a little bit cold and rainy tonight. And I just want to show you one of the things that I have done uh, that really makes this GSI teapot more useful to me, more beneficial to me. Um, like I said, I put all my different little items that I'm going to be probably eating and sometimes my fire kit into the teapot. And then I put my lid on, but the lid just is going to come off, right? There's nothing that retains that lid. And so what I do is I just simply run this piece of shock cord through and snap it on here and snap it on there where the handle comes through. And now I have a completely contained unit and uh, food or um, hot chocolate or tea and even rice and stuff that I keep in this sometimes, it stays in there. And then I'm able to just throw it in my bag, and it's really simple. It really makes things easier. Uh, rather than having it kind of try and tie it up with something or wrap it in something so it doesn't spill, this is just a really simple, easy thing to do uh, that helps maximize its usefulness to me. I will be uh, producing a longer, more in-depth review on this little GSI stainless steel teapot. But I just wanted to get this video out uh, to you guys, uh, my viewers and subscribers. It's really easy for me 
uh, to not do reviews and not do things because I'm worried about them being perfect. And I just sometimes just need to produce the video. So I know that this maybe hasn't been as uh, long or detailed or as well edited as my other videos have been. I've really tried to keep production up. But this was just a simple video. I wanted to kind of share this time with you, my viewers and subscribers, show you one of the items that I've been uh, spending time and energy uh, looking at and using. And uh, I'm going to share that review, that full-length review here with you guys sooner rather than later. Thank you very much for your views and your subscriptions. This is the Gear Tester signing off.